Joe's share count. And down Mary Beth McDade, Micah has the night off. For a second straight day, a U.S. airstrike has hit a convoy of Iranian militia fighters in Iraq. The latest bloodshed comes one day after Iran's top military commander was killed. Thousands of additional troops are being deployed to the Middle East as Iran promises crushing revenge and a jihad. The question now is how and when will they respond? Newly released video by Iraqi TV apparently shows the moment a U.S. drone strike killed Iran's top commander, his deputy commander, and some militia members as they left Baghdad airport. Qassam Soleimani was reportedly identified by his ring that he's known to wear. This photo, purported to show the ring on his severed hand, has been circulating on Iranian media. We took action last night to stop a war. We did not take action to start a war. President Donald Trump and other top Washington officials say the deadly attack was necessary because Soleimani was planning an imminent attack. He was plotting attacks against Americans, but now we've ensured that his atrocities have been stopped for good. Well, we've made clear to the Iranians that we weren't going to tolerate the killing of Americans on December 27th. An American was killed in Iraq. Uh, and then we watched uh, the intelligence flow in. We talked about Soleimani's travels in the region and the work that he was doing to put Americans further at risk, and it was the time to take this action so that we could disrupt this plot. Earlier today, thousands took to the streets in Iran carrying pictures of the revered commander and shouting death to America and revenge. <laughs> Elsewhere, there were celebrations. Some demonstrators in Baghdad flashed the V sign of victory. Major cities like New York and L.A. are on high alert as Iranian leaders vow revenge. We cannot just close our eyes to what happened last night. Uh, definitely there will be a revenge. There will be a harsh revenge. Uh, uh, Iran will, uh, will act uh, based on its own choosing. On Capitol Hill, lawmakers agree that Soleimani had a lot of American blood on his hands, but disagree on whether we needed to strike. Their reaction was along party lines. The president's decision may add to an already dangerous and difficult situation in the Middle East. No man 